I'm Satine Phoenix, and this is Larry Hamilton, and you're watching us on Follow Me and Die. January 2014 was the 40th anniversary of the publication of the original Dungeons & Dragons. To celebrate, the D20 Dark Ages blog hosted a D&D 40th anniversary blog challenge for the 28 days of February 2014. I blogged my answers to those questions every day of February 2014. You can see the description below for a link to my blog articles. Since 2017 is my 40th anniversary of playing D&D, it was sometime in March or April 1977, I thought I'd do a video series, my D&D 40th anniversary video challenge, using those same questions from 2014. 2017 is also the 40th anniversary of the Holmes Basic Blue Box. Hello and welcome to day 21 of my D&D 40th anniversary video challenge. Today's question is, when was the first time you sold some of your D&D books? For whatever reason. I never sold any of my D&D books. The closest I came was when I sold my Dragon Magazine collection to my brother Robert. My original Holmes Basic Blue Box. I didn't sell it, but I gave it to my youngest brother when I moved out of my parents' house. It wasn't until this past year, through an online group on Google Plus that I started advertising some old games that I had that I either had never played or hadn't played since high school or before and sold off some of those, but they weren't D&D. &D. For me, well, and the reason was is about 20 years ago, an apartment I lived in, not long before we moved out of that apartment, there was a water leak, a pipe burst, and it soaked everything. All that survived of my AD and D books was my player's handbook my mother gave me and my unearthed arcana. All my other books, including a Cthulhu, Mythos, Deities, and Demigods, were mush. My big stack of character notes and campaign notes survived. The two modules I owned survived, Village of Hamlet and Ravenloft. And some other odds and ends survived, but I lost Metamorphosis Alpha and Gamma World and Top Secret, Boot Hill. Just, oh, that was a sad day. I lost a lot of stuff. Finally, uh, when I got back big time into gaming, especially with my sons, I really focused on replenishing my collection. And I finally have replaced all the volumes of AD&D I had back in the day. And then added some AD&D volumes that I didn't know about and did not have back in the day. I try to acquire, whenever I see a player's handbook that's not too expensive and can be used for a table copy, I try to pick one up because I hope to someday be able to start running games again and want to have a copy for every player at the table to be able to refer to. So I've got a pretty good collection of those. I five or six in addition to my one my mother gave me. I don't plan on ever selling my AD&D books. As a matter of fact, I also picked up a Holmes basic reference book as I shared on day one. I just, nostalgia and the interesting information in there for planning my own stuff, getting ideas, I'm not going to part with it. I plan to use it and enjoy it. And if it's a game I'm not really playing, that's when I'll be getting rid of stuff. But D&D, &D, I'll be able to play that even if it's in my own mind till the day I die. So what about you? What was the first time you sold off any of your D&D &D books? Please share in the comments below and let's have a conversation. And game on. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends. And please comment below. We can share in the conversation together. Tell me about your introduction to D&D &D and your answers to these challenge questions, if you will. You can find me online at my blog, followmeanddie.com, G+, Twitter, and Facebook. I have a Cafe Press store where you can buy t-shirts and hoodies with the Follow Me and Die logo by none other than Satine Phoenix. And just remember, 
with all of my sights, you don't have a choice, because it's follow me and die.